And this is part two of my first thoughts on the Canon R3. And yes, it took me that long to have it in my hands again. In this video, we will only talk about the performance of this camera in video mode. For the photography part, you know what to do. It's in part one. The link is down below. So I'm going to talk a little bit less and you will see me less on screen for the next four videos. I just wanted to warn you, I want to tell you that my content will be slightly different. These are the specs of the Canon R3 in video, at least the one I am interested in. You have to keep in mind that this is a photography camera first, at least to my eyes. So some people may call it a hybrid camera, you know, a camera that is both good in video and in photography, but for me, it is still made for photography. Because, you know, you still don't have any professional audio connections, no SDI out, and you still have to deal with that micro HDMI port. It is not a video camera. It is not a cinema camera. And we all know that for very demanding video work, you can't rely on this type of camera, like any mirrorless camera on the market. But still, it delivers great images. It can record 6K raw internally. It has a very good out of focus in video mode. So why is this a big deal for me in why did I enjoy so much using the R5 in 8K RAW? Simply because I sometimes film at weird angles and heights. So I need a camera that is light, that has a great autofocus, and that will deliver an image I will be able to match with any A camera I'm using, and an image I can crop sometimes heavily without anyone noticing. This is also a great time saver when you need to use a light setup on a gimbal and when you are working solo. If you are a hybrid shooter, if you mainly do sports photography, events, shoot fast moving subjects, and you sometimes need a really good video camera that you can operate alone, then maybe the Canon R3 is made for you. And here are a few clips from a dance film that will be out shortly. That was made with the Canon R5 and the RF 24-70mm and the Canon R3 as my main camera in the RF 15 to 35 mil f2.8. Strangely, I'm definitely turning the page with Canon cameras. My partner is currently getting rid of the R5 and I'm only considering renting the R3 for specific tasks and jobs in the future.
I do not blame the Canon R3 at all. I mean, it's a great, it's a fantastic camera. I even wish that the speed and the courtesy of the autofocus would make its way into my Fujifilm gear. Well, you know, maybe someday. But I had to make a decision. There are other elements that came into play that motivated that decision. And for the hundredth time, you know, it is all linked to future projects and the type of work that I do. So if you are a Canon user, don't take it personally. It is a great camera. Are you a hybrid shooter? And if you are, please tell us down below which camera you are currently using for both photography and videography. Please tell us in the comments below. I guess that is it for now. I hope that it will get better soon. So I guess that I will catch you in the next one. So until then, take care and please have a good one.